Hey everybody, happy Friday. It's Facebook Friday time. I'm adjusting these lights every week. Hope you guys have had a great week. I haven't seen you in two weeks. So, how's everybody doing? We are rounding the corner for summer, you guys. You know I'm excited for it to be over. <laughs> Always excited for summer to be over. Now, this summer we've had a very good summer. And I don't want to jinx it. So, and I know some of you, I think we've sent our heat to you, which, sorry, not sorry. <laughs> you know, after last summer's heat here, we deserve a little bit of a break, but I know, you know, it's summer. It's to be expected, right? All right, well, even though it's summer, we are gonna play with a sled today. Seems bizarre, right? Um, I have never actually been on a sled, never owned a sled. So uh, those of you that have a sled or have sledded, is it sledded, have sled? <laughs> um, you'll love this set, but even if you don't, I love this set too. Um, even though I don't live in a place that snows, I still love the winter themed sets. So, all right, let me find you guys. And then I'm gonna flip you around and show you some things that I've been get that I've gotten in the mail over like the last month. Plus, I'll show you what Stampin' Up sent me this last week. Let me turn you guys around. Hello, everybody. It's good to see you. I took last Friday off last week with my BOGO sale. It was a crazy week, and I thought, you know what? I'm taking Friday off. And I did, and it was good. But we are back today. All right. Are we in the right place? You guys can hear me okay? I've been having internet issues, which I feel like I always say, but here on, I have my own internet thingy out here, <laughs> thingy, and the pool equipment is connected to it, as is the security camera and everything in here, and I think it's too much. So I've been having some like, you know, like internet dropping off and stuff, so I think maybe, it's too much, but I mean, what are you gonna do? You gotta, you gotta, you gotta use it. Thanks, Linda. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys what I got in the mail. Um, yes, you guys helped me uh, hit my two million dollars in sales in the middle of my BOGO sale, much faster than I thought it was gonna happen. So thank you, everybody. Um, you really did help me. Um, Stampin' Up always makes some over-the-top amazing card to send you. And uh, first of all, I just have to point out the envelope. Look at this giant gigantic ginormous envelope it's huge and i would like to know where i can get myself some <laughs> those aren't in the catalog um but this came and you know i guess does this go in like this i'm not sure but it's super cute look the little dies we're actually going to use those next week it's that alphabet die that we had and this adorable um coming to me it's coming to me you know the paper <laughs> uh love what's it called the love paper the i don't know you guys know what i'm talking about it's the paper that's watercolored look how cute now wait for it it opens like this and it opens like that look here's the note she put a little one of our little uh rosettes on it to pull it out isn't that cute i would never have thought about that and then watch this <gasps> Isn't that fun? That's a super complicated fun fold that I have never done, but maybe we need to do. It's like a pop out, ta-da. I mean, over the top, right? Super, super cute. And I'm looking at that thinking, wow, that's a lot of folding, a lot of score lines, but I really, I mean, I've seen other cards like that, but to have it in, in front of me is really amazing. And then um, there was something on the back side too. I mean, no detail went un unnoticed. Super cute. So anyway, I just thought you guys would love that. I'm going to find a special place to display it here. And you know, I um, got a special card like this when I sold my 1 million, when I hit 1 million. And I ha it's, in a, it's in a box in my closet and I need to pull it out. Those needs to have special display area in my office for sure. Um, I, oh, Deborah's made one of those. Of course, Deborah has. Deborah is an amazing stamper. Um, I have to show you some things that I got in the mail over the last few weeks. This is super cute. This came from Carol, and Carol is one of my uh, 
Club Create members. And our Club Create for July was the Mediterranean Blooms. And she said she loved the kit and that she used some of her um, leftover product to make all these cute little things. So Carol, thank you for thinking of me. I love the little things that are in here. I've used these before, but I had never seen these. Uh, this little single Purell. That's cool. That's a fun thing. And then a little chapstick. My daughter loves these. They uh, give these out at the dentist. So that's in there. Very cute. I'm going to set this aside to display as well. Very cute card. Little bitty baby card. And then she used my um, Halloween pencil holder that we made two weeks ago to make this for these beautiful little like lemon and flower pens. Really, really cute. So thanks, Carol. And of course, a stack of sticky notes. Oh, and a journal. I mean, hello. So cute. Not a journal. They're bags. I thought it was a little journal. Look how cute. Oh, wow. Those are beautiful. Ooh, I know exactly what I'm going to do with these. I, uh, for my downline, when they promote, they get a little necklace. I'm going to use those for that. All right. Thanks, Carol, so much. Um, okay, then now I've got, look, I've got a stack of cards to show you. I've been kind of saving them so I could show them all at one time. Uh, this one is from Cindy, and it's super cute, but look, watch. It's even cuter when you realize it's one of those easel fold cards. And she used uh, the little bird in the little bottom of the birdhouse to make that. That's going in my fun fold inspiration basket. I keep all the fun folds in a basket so that when I need fun fold ideas, I can pull them out. Um, okay, let's see. This one, this is that beautiful um, paper in the catalog. Uh, this is from Terry. Uh, this is, you know, that paper pack that we have in the catalog that has the little die cut pieces as well that go with it. Really pretty. Very, and it makes making cards super easy. We used it a couple weeks ago, I think, didn't we? All right, this one, lots of pinks and purples. This is from Linda and another fun fold like that. Cute, that's that sketched butterfly, new sketched butterfly bundle. Linda, thank you. Um, this one is from Carla. I love this color, it's so pretty. So cute, that little wheelbarrow. And look, she put little gems in the middle of flowers. I would never have thought of that. Thanks, Carla, you guys. You're so creative. Now this one is from Mandy. Mandy, very, very pretty. Dark and moody kind of green. I don't know, hopefully it translates on the camera. Really pretty. Um, sometimes people send me a check for things. Mandy had sent me a check for something and they, you guys always send it in a beautiful card. So it's like a bonus when you say, can I send you a check? And I say, yes. All right, here, this is from Rosemary. She also sent me a check. Isn't that cute? Very cute. I love that, that uh, lavender paper. It's still on our website. I need to use it some more. And then look, Taco Fiesta made a um, surprise appearance in my mailbox. Oh, and who is this from? It doesn't say Carmen. I mean, I never get tired of seeing my cute little stamp set being used. And that looks like Flirty Flamingo, one of my favorites. Um, this one is from Julie, and I really thought that was an interesting way to use this little label, um, just doing it in each of the end colors. Uh, I thought that was a really neat card, so thanks, Julie. And then this one's very sweet. Uh, this is from Terry. Also, um, we lost one of our dogs a couple of weeks ago, Mac. Um, he, I mean, we didn't lose him, but... He passed over the rainbow bridge, as they say. He was he was old and he was having lots of problems. So thank you, that's very sweet to get a, a sympathy card. You know, oh, it's hard, it's hard to lose a dog. It is very hard. So thanks guys, y'all are so good to me, so good. Uh, let's see, where do I wanna start? Um, how about Club Create? I have actually already, I'm almost done prepping Club Create for August. I'm way ahead. Uh, so if you are interested in doing Club Create in August, it's my um, subscription club, like a stamp club. Each month you get a kit in the mail. It's $45, it includes about $25 in product. Usually it's five projects. Um, it, usually what I try to do is four cards and a 3D. 
Um, but sometimes it's all cards. Like when we do Christmas, I feel like we all need lots of Christmas cards. So this month, August kit actually has six cards in it. So you'll get six cards and it uses the season of Green and Gold Suite, which is an online exclusive. And we're using the Greetings of the Season stamps and the Golden Greenery dies. Now these two are part of two different bundles, um, but I always try to, I don't wanna use too many things. Um, you know, I try to keep the cost down for you guys. So I just use the stamp set and these dies because these dies, they come with a stamp set that is awesome, but they also cut out the, the DSP, the pattern paper that goes with the suite. So we're just using um, the dies to cut out pieces from the patterned paper. Um, now the dies that go with Greetings of the Season are awesome. They're like all tags and we are using those, but I cut all of those for your kits. Um, so if you're interested in getting a Christmas card kit in August, if you wanna get a jump start on it, um, this would be great. Um, this is what it looks like when it comes. I always put it in a special little, um, like a plastic envelope for storage. Um, you get full product, um, either a quarter or half pack of designer series paper, sometimes a full pack. Um, a full pack of this month, you're getting a full pack of the, the berries and a full pack of ribbon. So you'll have lots left over to make more cards. Um, if you want to sign up for that, the deadline is the 7th, which is Wednesday. Um, Gosh, that's a, coming up so fast. So uh, so September's kit will feature something from the holiday catalog. Um, and I won't get it until Wednesday, so I won't be able to design with it until the end of next week. So hopefully by next Friday, I will have what we're going to do in September to show you. I know what I'm using, and I forget what it's called. If you're in Club Create, I told you in the last email I sent you. Um, it's It's very cute. Um, but stay tuned for that, okay, next week. But if you want the Christmas cards, sign up by Wednesday. And um, I will update this video with the links for that, or you can click the Club Create tab at the top of my blog. Now, have you guys seen my new class to go? Um, this is for August, and it's the two market class. It has five cards and another mini album. And this time the mini album is a recipe album. And I think this would be really fun to do like a gift album, uh, a gift recipe book for somebody, or just a way to um, put your, store your favorite recipes. Um, you've got a place over here for these cards and the cards will be included in your kit. Um, and then over here, you know, all of my recipes these days are printouts, right, from the computer. So that's kind of what I intended for these to be. Um, you can slide those in there like that. Um, so the kit will include everything you need to make the mini album as well as the, the five cards. Um, you're gonna get a full pack of that paper. You're gonna get a bolt of linen thread and a full pack of these. I don't have a full pack to show you, but you will have a full pack, but you'll have a lot left over. You can see we use them on our projects and then you have a lot left over um, to use. You can get the class to go kit with the bundle or without the bundle. Um, you can get a PDF only. Oh, and like last month's or last class kit, there's a video for the mini album. Not for the five cards, there's a typed tutorial for that and the mini album, but there's also a video, video for the mini album as well. Um, deadline for this is August 23rd and I'll have them out. My goal would, will be August 30th. Um, I can't put this link online. I can only send it through email. So if you have not, if you're not part of my email list, email me and I will send you that link. If you are part of my email list, I emailed it out yesterday. Yesterday or day before yesterday? Day before yesterday. Okay. All right. That's that. Um, I scratched myself and I don't know what I scratched on, but man, it is stinging. Okay, let's look at the all-star tutorial for this month. It is, um, and the bows, but here they are. I was wondering what this bow was doing sitting over here. It goes right here. This month's all-star tutorial is the Mediterranean Blooms Suite. Gorgeous suite. And it's 12 tutorials by 12 different designers, um, all featuring the Mediterranean Blooms Suite, the Citrus Blooms Bundle. Um, they're all videos. 
Uh, so in, on, in the PDF, there are links to the videos, and then there are supply lists and measurements in both metric and imperial. It's $15 in my PDF store, or you'll get it for free in August if you shop with me and spend over $50. All right, so that is that. I love, I can't get enough of that Mediterranean blooms. My little project this month is a little box, of course, and it holds these lemon wafer bites. Delicious. Found those at, you know, TJ Maxx but I also found them on Amazon. Okay, I wanna remind you about tax-free days. I've been posting reminders here on Facebook. Um, okay, let's see, today is the second. So um, Arkansas, no, Arkansas, you're tomorrow. Florida, you have tax-free right now. Um, Missouri, New Mexico, Ohio, South Carolina, Virginia, and West Virginia. All of you have tax-free days right now um, where you get school supplies are tax-free. So that means some Stampin' Up! products are tax-free. Um, I will have a link for this at the top of the video today so you can see, or you can scroll down and see there's another post with a link. Um, things like adhesive. This is when I, I, I buy all my adhesive for the whole year during tax-free weekend. Um, markers, grid paper, paper snips, all tax-free so don't let it pass you by um okay let's see what else what else oh did you earn bonus days coupons in july well you can now redeem them and you can redeem all of them at one time um there's no minimum or anything so if you have 25 dollars in um coupons what are they called hello bonus days coupons you can use them in august okay so that is now, August, August now, <laughs> August 1st through the 31st. Um, I also wanna tell you, give you a heads up that there's a paper sale coming next week on the 6th. Um, designer series pa paper from the annual catalog will be 15% off. And I don't think it includes every single one. I think the specialty papers are not included. Um, select, shop select designer series papers, stock up and save in your favorite paper. For any crafting project. So that is next week. I'll remind you. And that is from the 6th through the 31st. Okay. All right. Okay. Got everything. I got everything I wanted to tell you. Let's look at a, our prizes. Um, if you've never joined us for Facebook Live before, Facebook Friday, I do this every Friday. Well, almost every Friday. And um, I pick a product and we make three projects with it. And this week we're using the sophisticated sled. Um, the other part of Facebook Friday, well, there's two other parts. One, if you share the video, you will be entered into a drawing to win a prize next week. And last week's winner, or two weeks ago's winner, is Sharon Milburn. And Sharon is getting the Beach Day bundle and class to go. Sharon, thanks for sharing my video. Sharon, I do have your mailing address, so I will get this in the mail to you next week. Thank you so much for sharing. When you share the video, make sure you put in the comments that you shared, and uh, just know that it helps me find new customers, and I greatly appreciate it. Um, this week's prize is Latte Love and the Class To Go. I, for some reason, have never thought about adding the Class To Go to the prize, so if I have a Class To Go with the prize, I'm gonna add it. Um, so that's, that makes it even more of a fun prize. So share the video either on Facebook or YouTube, and I will pick somebody at random next week. All right, the third part of Facebook Friday is the make and take kits. Um, if you like the projects and you want them, you can get them for free um, with a $35 or more order between now and Monday at midnight using this week's host code. So on Tuesday morning, I get up and I write down everybody's name who's ordered, and I cut, pack, and ship them a kit for the three projects that we've made. You do need the stamps, the sophisticated sled stamps and dies that we're using this week, but everything else like, like a, a banner or a circle, I'll cut those for you. Um, any embellishments that we use, like ribbon or twine, I will include those. And uh, your cardstock bases, there will be uh, envelopes with your cards. And then I'll have a thank you tag for you as well. So if you're interested in that, just remember the deadline is Monday at midnight. Okay, 
We are ready. How long did that take me? 20 minutes. Okay. Well, let's get started stamping. And I have to tell you guys, I really do love this bundle. I saw some of you comment that you love it too. Have any of you um, ordered the Sophisticated Sled? Hi, Crystal. I'm glad you caught me live. And Lois, no worries that you're traveling. I know how that goes. Internet. You know, I'm just ready for us all to have the global internet where we don't have to worry about being in and out of service. You know, they, they're, they're working on that. It's called Starlink. Hopefully, we can all have access to it at some point. Okay, so our first card. Some of you have gotten it. Okay, good. Robin, you have it. Oh, good, Gail, Catherine, good. Okay, good. Well, I've got some ideas for you. My So when you look at the bundle, again, you have options. You can stamp the sled and the uh, skates, or you can die cut them and paper piece them. I am a fan of paper piecing. I love to use paper to, to create things. Um, without the stamping, uh, that's usually my preference when I have a choice, but we're going to do both today, okay? And the skates, I think, are my favorite. They really are super cute. I uh, couldn't wait to make a pair of skates that have red laces. I have never ice skated either. This is how this card opens. Um, so I know nothing about sledding or skating. <laughs> we don't do that down here in San Antonio, Texas, but... I can admire how cute they are. I do have a pair of decorative ice skates that I hang up at Christmas time. Does that count? I don't think that makes me an expert, but oh well. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do, there's only one stamp used on this card and it is the sentiment. So we'll save that and let's, let's do all of the die cutting. Let me get all of my pieces. Um, we're gonna, the, the cutest part of these little skates are the laces that they have that slip down into the skates. It makes it really easy. So I'm gonna use silver foil for the blades of the skates. I'm gonna use basic white for the main part of the skates. And then we have, um, we're gonna use this. This is like the frame of the sled. We're gonna use that on real red. And this is the little laces die. Let me poke out a little, got a little straggler there. And we'll put that there. Um, I think that the Country Woods Designer Series paper goes really well with this, uh, this bundle. So we're going to use this. This is the sled part, the wood slats of the sled. Hey, have you guys checked to see if my um, blog post is up? I should have asked. Um, there's a free PDF over there for you, I forgot to mention, that will have the measurements and the supply list for today's projects. Okay, and then we're gonna cut out the little greenery part from Old Olive, okay? So I believe, okay, Trisha, Trisha always checks it for me. Thanks, Trisha, I appreciate it. I think we're gonna get it all on here. Run it through. All right, now get your dies, put them back where they go because you will lose them. Those little ones especially. Here's the, here are the little blades. Um, here are the little skates. I think, you know, I used to love to play Barbies when I was a little girl and I think all these cute little things like this always just remind me of Barbie. You know, when we have like the little, um, the wagon and the kitchen stuff. I don't know, it just always reminds me of pretend play when I was little. I think that's why I love these so much. Um, I'm gonna run that old olive one back because it did not cut all the way through, but everything else did. Now, my first card that I made with this, and you might see that in the sample. Well, I don't know why things aren't cutting today. Um, I left off Here's, here it is. I left off that front piece. And then on my second one, I added it. I think I kind of like it without that front piece. So I think we're going to leave that off. Maybe if you're, if you're a real sledder, you would need it. But this is just a card. So we don't have to worry about... <laughs> we don't have to worry about our sled not um, turning, maybe, or being able to steer it, is what I'm assuming that little piece is for. Ah, we don't need to worry about it. 
Okay, let's see, I'm gonna cut this again and I'm just gonna do another one. Sometimes if you have a die that isn't cutting very well, let's see, I wanna make sure that I turn it upside down like this and put the paper on top of it. I didn't have a problem with it last time, but who knows, because I was cutting so much, maybe it was just, it didn't get enough didn't get enough of its pressure. Let's see. And then look, I mean, when you turn it upside down, it's like way better. It's for steering. I thought so. Well, nah, we don't need it, do we? I mean, you just throw that sled down the hill and you just go. <laughs> I mean, come on. All right. Now there's some little pieces in here. Well, I don't know what's going on today. Let's try cutting this again because this didn't happen the first or the second time I made this card. Let's see if we can line that up and it will cut those middle lines. This is even really thin paper. And that did it. This one embosses a little bit too. It puts those little wood lines. Of course, we're using wood paper, so we don't even really need those, but. Okay, so now, I like to use my take your pick tool for these. It, the take your pick tool does have a die brush attachment, but honestly, I like just doing this better. If it's a big piece, I will use my die brush, but on something like this, I just like to poke them out like that. All right, so what's going on with you guys? Is it hot where you're at? I know I keep seeing Al Roker say it's very hot north of here. Very hot. I'm sorry. We sent your heat, our heat to you guys. We had, we had a ridiculous, ridiculous in a good way, ridiculous July that was not very hot at all. Okay, let's. Let's glue this. Are you guys getting ready for back to school? Those of you that have kids, hot. Oh, Stacy, it's always humid in South Florida. It's always humid there. Those of you that have kids, are you gearing up for back to school? Uh, our kids go back a week early this year and this glue is gonna not work for me. Um, our kids go back a week early, which is two weeks from Monday. So they used to go back the last week of August and now they go back the second to last Monday. Oh, come on. Am I really just gonna have to not use this little bottle? This little bottle was supposed to prevent the clogs. They lied. They lied. Um, heat advisory, Sharon. Oh, um, so, oh gosh, Laura, yikes. Yes, Brandy, perfect for pool time, right? The only problem here is that about this time, the pool gets hot. The water is like a hot tub. Um, luckily, ours is, has not done that yet. This is the first summer we've had a pool, and ours hasn't done that yet. But again, it hasn't been blazing hot. So we'll see. It doesn't cool off at night here. We're still like in the 90s at night. So, I mean, in the, the morning, it'll be like 79 but it just, it doesn't cool off enough to cool the water off. Humid in West Michigan. Yeah, humid seems to be like the, the thing in the summer, right? Ugh, I, I, can, I can deal with a lot of things. The humidity is what just kills me. Your eighth grader starts Wednesday. Yay, Ruth! <laughs> I know the feeling. And then your son's going to college freshman year. That is hard. We did that a few years ago. And I was not prepared for it to be as hard as it was. It was hard. Um, okay, I want to show you guys this. Slide this. There's this little slit right here in the um, the skate boot part, and you slide the the little laces in. And when you flip it over, you can see how it's just kind of in there. And instead of trying to mess with the glue there, I just take my dimensionals and put one right on top just to sandwich it in like that. Okay. Um, when my oldest went to college, she's very independent, very, very independent. Um, you know, I felt like, you know, I'm not real emotionally 
and I'm not a big crier, but, and I was like, okay with it leading up. But then that week I, whoo, I had a hard time, but I don't know. It got, it got easier. Your boys start fourth and sixth grade. Sixth grade, Jessica, is a hard year. Sixth, seventh, and eighth are, are hard years. Sixth, I feel like here, sixth grade is middle school. So they leave elementary and they go to middle school. I don't know how it is where you are, but I felt like my kids all changed a lot that year and not like for the better. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they just, they, they're not little kids anymore and it's hard. But eighth grade, funny enough, eighth grade, all three of my girls got in trouble in eighth grade at one point. And I have, I have very good kids, but what, for whatever reason, all three of them decided to spread their wings just one time in eighth grade. And I got a call from the principal every year in eighth grade for them. I know, I know. That third one, I warned her, I said, don't follow in your sister's footsteps. And she, she swore she wouldn't, but she got in trouble because she was in the vicinity where there was a fight. And she got in trouble because she was standing there watching. <laughs> so, okay, fine. That's not that bad. I don't know. I, I won't share the other, the other gory details. One involved the internet, social media, and the other involved a boy. Of course, right? Well, they both involved a boy, but all right. <laughs> I won't throw them under the bus. They're very good girls, both of them. All right, I'm gonna just glue this right here. If you wanna avoid all the stickiness, you of course can put an adhesive sheet behind those pieces. And see, I'm just gonna leave that off. I like it better without the steering. Let's pretend it's an antique sled that's hung on a wall for decoration. We're not using it. We're not using it to slide down a hill, okay? Um, my husband says eighth grade was his worst year as well. I don't remember eighth grade being horrible. I remember sixth grade and seventh grade not being great. Just, it's a weird age, right? Even the last day of school, eighth grade. Yes, high school, no, I know, right, Denise? Something about sixth, seventh, eighth grade. It's a weird time and I feel bad for them because it's not, it's not fun being in that weird transitional stage. Okay, the card base is just your normal, right? Eight and a half by five and a half. I've scored it at two and an eight and four and a fourth. And we're gonna fold that front flap back. And then, let's see, do I have a regular adhesive? I do. We're gonna take this adhesive right here. And I've got a piece, another piece of that Country Woods paper, three by five and a fourth, or five and three eighths, depending on how close you want it to be to the edge. Put that just there on that front flap like that. And then I've got a piece of Early Espresso. Every time I, think, I hear Early Espresso, I think of that song that they are playing nonstop right now. Sabrina Carpenter's song, I think that's her name. You guys know that song I'm talking about? They, I mean, it is like the song of the summer and it is on constantly. There's always one song in the summer, right? That they play nonstop. It's called Espresso. Um, listen to it, it's, it's bad. <laughs> I mean, it's not bad, but you know. It's typical. Okay, the little you're gonna, you've got a little mini card, right? And it's three by four. And we're gonna actually adhere it so that it opens this way. You're gonna think you wanna adhere it so that it opens this way, but no, open it this way. I do like this song, it just has bad words in it. And you know, we like listened to it numerous times um, while we were on vacation and my husband was like, it has bad words. I'm like, ah, I know. I mean, what are you gonna do? They, they hear so many bad words at school. It's not like they've never heard them before. Um, <laughs> all right. This um, piece of vellum is from the Golden Greenery Vellum Pack. Is that what it's called? Um, and this is, it's kind of like a snowy texture or kind of just a distressed texture. And so you're not going to really see it a whole lot, but it's just going to add a little bit of a layer to your card, okay? And then take your... Um, your, your sled and where's my, my little trash bowl, put this right here, put that right there. Now for our, for our skates, we're going to get a piece of twine and we're going to tie a bow and you want the little legs as I call them, to be a little bit long. 
We're gonna trim them down, but that way they're long enough to, for us to hang our little skates on, okay? So get a glue dot. Give it a mini glue. Oh, hold please, let's try that again. Tie a little bow, make the legs long, get a mini glue dot. You've heard me say all this before. Let's try that again. Take your pick tool, whatever you did. Okay, now stick that right down there, right in the middle of your greenery. And then take your first skate and we're gonna hang it, we're gonna stick it so that it's sandwiching that twine and then just kind of pick it up and trim off the bottom edge of that twine. So it looks like it's connected. It looks like they're hanging. Okay, so then we'll get this one and we'll put it, let's put it a little bit down further like that. And then get up in there and trim like that. Okay, and then get these little cute cherry, I keep calling them cherries, berries. I type the, the tutorial with these and I use the word cherries every time. They're berries. They're so cute. They look like this and they just came back in stock. They were out of stock and I just ordered a bunch of them today. Okay, and you can use the little onesies also. The little onesies, little singlets, singlets. All right, so now all we have left is our sentiment. So let's open it up and hope that we don't stamp it crooked. <laughs> Oh, really, Cynthia? Yeah, it's a real cute one. And let's make sure I get this straight-ish. Let's decorate the season with happiness. It can I was just thinking yesterday, it can be a Christmas set, but it could also be a not Christmas set. See how that opens? Oh, look at that. Dagnabbit. Let's see, will that erase some of that? Nope, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to do something there. We gotta smear, hmm. Right there on my thumb. Anyhow, cute card, easy, fun. And if you don't want to do the paper piecing, just stamp your sled, which we're gonna do in the last project, okay? So it opens like that and like that. Every time I stamp with red ink, I get it somewhere it's not supposed to be. <laughs> cute, right? Cute and easy, very easy. Okay. Card number one. Let's move on to card number two. And I think you guys told me this card is called a stair step card. I think you told me last time. I couldn't remember and you guys told me. So correct me if I'm wrong. I know you guys will. Like this and it lays down flat, right? That's a stair step card because it's a step and a step, right? Am I right? Am I wrong? Anyhow, this one is non-Christmas colors, but we're gonna make some little sprigs to put inside of our stamped um, skates. This paper back here is from the last holiday catalog, right? And it's still available online, like as an online exclusive. Um, and so we're using navy and um, misty moonlight. All right, thanks, Jessica. I'm glad you like it. Okay. Again, this time I did a little bit of work ahead of time and I have everything die cut. These little sprigs, now look through your dies, guys. I'm sure you've got little sprigs. Little, anything that could be used, that's little. We're gonna actually use some enamel effects on it to, to make those little berries. So let me get these on here like this. And you want to just barely, let's see if I can just zoom in just a tiny bit. You just wanna barely squeeze and then pull straight up. It looks like a little Hershey kiss, but it dries as just a round little, little ball, little berry, okay? And so I cut the sprigs from Old Olive. This sprig happens to be from the iconic Iconic imagery. I'm like, is it Iconic Celebrations? No, that's the paper. Iconic imagery bundle. 
and it actually has two of them in there, which I like. So there you go, super cute. Now I always tell you, go set it somewhere far, far away because you will inevitably set something on it and you will not be able to use it. Here are mine from yesterday, all dry. Okay, so should we make, yeah, let's, let's do this part first. Um, this time I cut out, you know, I'm gonna bring that grid paper back. This time I cut out our frame from Early Espresso and our sled slats from Pecan Pie. We do need to stamp our skates, however. So let's do that. Oh my gosh, I need to wash my hands. Sticky. All right, so we've got a piece of basic white. And do we have a stamp? We do. Now, you guys, those of you that have ice skated or grew up ice skating, did ice skates just normally come in white or, did, or are they like roller skates where you can get them all in funky colors? Because again, you know, I know nothing about ice skating. Absolutely nothing. I decided to keep these just white and we're just gonna add some Smoky Slate Light Stamp and Blend down here for the blades. White or black for boys. So black skates are for boys. I saw a card where the skates were black the other day and I thought, oh, I like those. So they don't come in all the funky, like crazy colors like um, roller skates. I know, you know, like when you go to the skating rink, yes, all the roller skates are like that ugly beige, but you can buy roller skates that are fun colors and like roller blades. White for girls, black for boys. Wow, so that's just like a standard thing, huh? Interesting, and how boring. Um, use your uh, post-it tape here if you need it in case you don't want it to slide around. Interesting, white and black. Okay, now let's come back and put this guy together. Early espresso frame. Hockey skates. So, okay, Heidi, what's the difference between hockey skates and non-hockey skates? I had no idea that there was a difference. I'm showing my ignorance. Are they like, are they like more sturdy or something? That's very interesting. I went, I took my daughter ice skating. We, we have, I don't know if we still do. We had an indoor ice skating rink here. Um, and I took her to a birthday party there one time and it was like, nobody could skate. Everybody was like gripping the wall, falling down. It looked like a terrible time. <laughs> I had no interest in even trying it. Hockey skates had different blades. Hmm. Oh, you, you colored them up with pom-pom on the laces. Yes, okay, that makes sense. We did that with roller skates too, now, now that you're saying that. Hockey skates extend out on the foot. Okay, toe pick for figure skates. Hockey skates have smooth blades. Wow, interesting. So hockey skaters, they just slide to the side to stop, right? I guess with regular ice skates, you do that too. So why do the ice skating shoes have the toe pick in the front? I guess so they can do like twirls. <laughs> Am I showing my ignorance? I'm embarrassed. I don't know. I don't know. I wish roller skating would make a comeback. I mean, it was the thing in the 80s. Uh oh, I forgot. Okay, for your dimensional, put it way down at the bottom because we're going to stick those sprigs in there. And we need to, there to be space. Also, find your many dimensionals, which I thought were gonna be somewhere here. I had them yesterday. Hold on, hold on, where are they? What the world? They have disappeared, I cannot find them. Ugh, come on, what happened? Hmm, that's weird. That is very weird. All right, well, um, let's just make a tiny, many, many dimensional with this right here. 
We'll put that right there. Many years we bejazzed them up with fancy laces and pom-poms. Ice skating is difficult. It looks very difficult. Difficult. White figure skates have toe picks and hockey. Okay, I read that. The pick is the difference. The toe picks so they can tricks and twirls. Really? Huh. Interesting. All right. Now, these are decorative skates. <laughs> Once again, these are decorative. Oh no, my little things are stuck together. Um, because we're gonna put some, some holly berries inside them. And I don't think that these would, I don't think anybody would appreciate having these little sprigs inside their hockey skates. <laughs> okay, so what color are hockey skates? Are they black? Are they all black? Well, I guess if a girl is going to hockey skate, does she get, okay. I mean, there has to be an, is it like a third color for hockey skates? Or are they like the team color? So many questions. All right, so you can see how I stuck those down into our little, into our little skates. Um, this little square has been embossed with the embossing folder that was sitting right here. What's this one called? So many snowflakes or gently falling. I don't even know where my PDF is. Here it is, let me see, did I put it on here? Falling snow embossing folder, that's what that's called. All right, so you need that piece. And then I have cut with this little Happy Little Things die, a Knight of Navy banner. And we're just gonna use our embossing buddy and we'll stamp the sentiment, yay, all the way, right there on it. Skating was too many years ago. <laughs> I still have your rollers. Yes, I, oh, you still have them, Karen, and they fit. Wow. My brother played hockey in high school and his skates were black. Interesting. Interesting, yeah. I know nothing about ice skating, as I've obviously proven. It's like two different worlds, down in the south and up in the north. Two different worlds. All right. Your embossing additions kit comes with all these things that you need, including these reverse tweezers, which are awesome because then you don't burn your fingerprints off. You can hold it out like that and heat it up. Okay, there we go. Yay all the way. I think that's really cute. Okay, let's put it all together now. Get your dimensionals again. You've got blinking? What kind of blinking? Okay, close it. Like close your Facebook and open it again. If you're on your phone, like, you know, swipe it so that it closes and see if that works. I'm gonna put this kind of at an angle. And then, again, I need many dimensionals. No, we're just gonna have to make our own. Settings lower your quality. Interesting, Patricia, I've never heard that. Interesting. I've heard FB is doing some weird things lately with some zooming in and out on Facebook Live, so hopefully that doesn't happen to us. All right, so there's our main centerpiece. Now we, can, we need all of our other pieces so I can get them picked up off my tray. The measurements for this are on the PDF. You're gonna get your Knight of Navy and your bone folder would probably be the best idea. And we will put some adhesive on that half inch part and fold that down like that. If you fold it down flat, then it'll pop up and it'll be exactly where it's supposed to be. So it folds flat so it'll fit in your envelope. And then it pops up when they open it. How fun, when the, we used to flood the tennis court in the winter for ice skating. My kids would absolutely love that. 
Oh, I did it again. Darn it, I did this yesterday on the individual recording of this project. Before you do that, you have to put down your designer series paper. Don't worry. Don't worry, we'll cover up our boo-boo. We just need to put some adhesive down again. Do it again. I swore I wasn't gonna do that this time, and I did it again. All right, there we go. Now, and I feel like this was too long. Nope, it's good. This is Misty Moonlight. You can also use Night of Navy if you want. All right, and then you've got this Night of Navy piece that has kind of like in the shape of like a J, right? Or U. Um, and we're gonna put adhesive right here on this tab. And then I'm gonna put some on the flip side like that. Now, this needs to lay down like this. So I like to kind of flatten it and then put it up there and then see. There we go, and you'll have like a perfect fit. Okay, so lay it down like that, and then it pops up. All right, and then we're just gonna put down that piece that we made right there. And then if you're somebody that likes to write a message, you guys know how I feel about writing a message. Not a fan. <laughs> <laughs> put a piece of white on the back like that and then you have lots of room to write your message and there you go a fun fold what we call it a sideways stair step card or is it just called a stair step card even when it's turned on its side because sometimes you see these cards and they're like this but I, I tend to always do it like this on the side okay one more project let me clean up my mess and then we will make a box. Now this box is, I copied myself. Um, I had made this box several weeks ago when we were using pinwheels, but I never made a video for it. So I decided to bring it back and use it this week so that I could have a video for it, okay? Um, this time we're gonna stamp, gosh, these dimensionals are everywhere. We're going to stamp the sled and color it with blends. Um, inside is a Kinder chocolate. My kids love anything Kinder, anything. Um, and I can't remember exactly where I got these, but I, I want to say Target, maybe Walgreens, but they're everywhere. I uh, linked, maybe, maybe it was Walmart. I linked them if you want to just order them from Amazon. I linked them there as well. Okay, we're using, again, Moody Mauve, color I don't use very often but it's in that Iconic Celebrations paper, so we're gonna use it for that. But first, let's do our stamping. We're gonna stamp our wreath. Oh, and you know what we need for this is a mat. If you have a big photopolymer stamp that doesn't stamp very well, like in the middle, put a foam mat under your paper, it will help. It creates kind of a cushion so that it can kind of fill in all those spots. All right, ink it up with Memento and stamp that right there. And then the wreath. Now, I'm going to tell you guys something. This wreath and the die are really hard to line up. I was turning it and turning it and turning it and turning it, and I had a really hard time. So what I did the first time is I got a scrap piece of paper, and I cut this out, and then I used the window around the image and that was a lot easier for whatever reason. And then I could set the die into, to, you know, like a puzzle, like fit into the window. Then I was like, I'm not doing that again. So I put a dot at the top of the die and the top of the stamp. So I would have some kind of idea of where it goes when I use it. Because for whatever reason, I could not get it to line up. You'll even see on my <laughs> individual recording, I paused the video and, and just kept, turning it and turning it and turning it until I found it because it was taking me too long. So do the work the first time and you don't have to do it again. Okay, now look at this color combo, you guys. This is so pretty. When I saw these markers sitting together, Moody Mauve, Old Olive, and Pecan Pie. I just think that is very pretty, very pretty. All right, so I'm not gonna color this whole sled because believe it or not, it takes a long time. But I'm gonna just show you. Take your light pecan pie and color those slats. My pecan pie is dry now. Let me use my other end. 
color those slats. It's big. This image is actually pretty big. Especially, it takes a long time, especially when your marker is drying out. I use pecan pie probably the most. It's probably my most used gamma blend. All right, so color all the slats with the light and then take your dark. And um, Nancy, I tried the inner circle too. I was still struggling. I was on the struggle bus. Take your dark and color the um, slats that go horizontally so they're a little bit darker, okay? And then when you're done, it looks like this. All right, now I stamp this in Old Olive. I'm gonna take light Old Olive and color in the leaves. Now there are some berries on here, so don't color in the berries. The, the good thing about coloring the, or stamping this in Old Olive is that the darker Old Olive, or the Old Olive ink is darker than the blend, so that you have like two tones. So you have the dark stamped part and then the lighter colored part. All right, it is a little bit tedious. I'm not doing any shading of this. And while I finish it, let me tell you guys about the book I'm reading. It is not my typical book, but I have to tell you about it. It is by Stephen King. Have you guys read Stephen King? I've never read Stephen King in my entire life because I'm a scaredy cat. I don't like anything that's scary. But he writes books that aren't necessarily considered horror book. Horror, you know, like horror. Yeah, that's a genre, horror. Um, I'm going to take Dark Booty Moth. But he, he has books that aren't that. So I picked up this book called Fairy Tale. It was written during the pandemic, and it is so good. Now I will tell you, my mom has started reading it. She's behind me a couple of days. And the first 30%, I like just fell in love with the characters, couldn't put it down. But then after that, it gets intense. Who's read, who has read Fairy Tale by Stephen King? It is good. It is good. It is intense. And it gets a little Hunger Games-ish. I will tell you that. Little Hunger Games. You guys remember Hunger Games? But... I'm almost done. I listened to the audiobook all day today. I'm almost done. It is so good. Now, there's another one that my mom has been begging me to read that I'm going to read next. And it's the 1122. It's the one about the assassination of Kennedy and the guy like time travels, try to go back and stop it. So I'm going to read that one next. His writing is so good. Why did I wait so long? I didn't know he didn't, I didn't know he wrote books that weren't, you know, like it. Pet Cemetery. That stuff I don't want any part of. I am the world's biggest scaredy cat. But this one is so good. So, anyhow, that's my recommendation for this week. Anybody else reading something new that they love? Okay, now, do I remember, let's see, the dot is up here, and look at that. Shut up, perfect, okay? Yeah, that inner circle is probably easier to use than the outer circle. But for whatever reason, I could not get it. The, the two different times I tried it before I marked it, um, I had the hardest time. Mary, is a Green Mile by Stephen King? I had no idea. Interesting. Huh, yeah, that was a really good movie. I did see that. I had no idea that was by him. I'm just ignorant, I guess. Kathleen Brooks, Crystal. Okay, I have to check her out. Yeah, you gotta check out Fairy Tale. It, it is interesting. It is like your mind is like, what in the world? But the character, there's a dog that you'll fall in love with, and the character is a 17 year old boy, and it's just, it's clever and it's different, and it's weird and it's interesting and it's suspenseful. So you guys know, I always have to share. When we find things we like to read or watch, we gotta share. Um, okay, so now take this, oh, okay, two different things. I made this box twice, and you can see here, the wreath is fine, but on this box over here, I cut the wreath apart so that you would see more of it. So let's do that, let's just cut it in half. I know, you're like, oh my gosh, you just cut it in half, but it's okay. We're gonna just put it, like this okay we're going to just spread it apart a little bit that way we can see more of the wreath behind our little 
uh, tag. This little tag is from Unbounded. Is it Unbounded Beauty or Unbounded Love dies? I think it's Unbounded Love. And the paper is called Unbounded Beauty. Blue Grass Series. Okay, Crystal, I will look for that. I uh, went through a whole, um, what they're calling romanticy, I guess. I read the, um, oh, the Iron Flame books, which then sent me to Sarah J. Mass, which are the Glass Throne, Crescent City, those books. So I spent the last six months reading all those, and I was like, okay, I need a little bit of a change. This really isn't, I mean, it's not a romance at all, but it is a little science fiction-ish. Um, I don't know. Science, yeah, I mean, it is. Fantasy. It's more fantasy. It's called fairy tale. So that should give you like a little indication of some things that are going to happen. All right. So we're going to put that there. Now let's make the box. Let's make the box and then we're done. Moody Mob. Moody Mob just takes me back to like the 90s. Right? Mob. Mauve was a 90s color. All right, let me look at my notes. The measurements for this are on the second page. Thanks for the share, Francis. I appreciate it. Five and three eighths by eight. Yes. Short side, you want to do half an inch on each side. So half an inch, and that would be four and seven eighths. And then turn it, and on the long side, you're going to do half an inch. Whoops, don't jump the track. Half an inch, three and three fourths, four and a fourth seven and a half. This is your basic candy box. Just very basic. And I just made it to fit this specific candy. And there we go. All right, so now get your snips and snip the corners. Um, there, it's, the piece is symmetrical, so it doesn't matter which end you do this on, but you're gonna cut off the square tabs on one side. And then snip, 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 snip. All right, and then get your tear and tape. Brand new roll of tear and tape. Something satisfying about brand new adhesive. It's not gunky, <laughs> it's not all gunked up yet. All right, fold that in half basically and fold that over like that and your box should lay flat if you did your measurements right, you're scoring correctly. Score that are on the bottom, fold the two sides, then the back and then you wanna fold the front side in that way you have on the front, all, all of your sides are smooth rounded corners. You don't have any of these pieces where the, the edges meet. Okay, come on, come on. Close that up. You might need to stick your bone folder in there. And, okay, and then the paper, I think I cut it too long. Yeah, let me cut it short, shorter. Little Moody Mob Christmas trees. Let's make sure, yep, there we go. And we're gonna put that on the front. Now, if you don't like the Moody Mob, look, I mean, you've got other choices with this paper. This paper will take you all the way through Valentine's Day, the iconic Celebrations Designer Series paper. I, you know, I like to match my projects with the colors of the candy, but this one just, it just didn't. <laughs> I mean, orange was not the color I wanted to go with, so we're just going to hide it and pretend that doesn't matter. Slide that in, fold the sides, the back, and then the front, and then get your white frayed edge ribbon. This ribbon comes in white and vanilla, so depends on, you know, what paper you're using. And tie a bow at the top. Like that.
and pull those until you get them the length that you want them. Cut them at an angle with your good scissors. And last but not least, you're just gonna take your sled and, you know, let's just use up this piece here on the end. Let's do it like this. Do you guys do that? You just rip off the edges. I mean, I, can, I can't throw these sheets away when there's adhesive left. I have to use every bit. It looks ugly, but nobody's gonna see it. All right, put it down the side so that you can straddle the ribbon. Hope your days are filled with fun and laughter. And there you go. That's an easy one. That's an easy box. Now, the hardest part is gonna be having the patience to color that sled because it does take a while. It's bigger than you think, and it takes a while. All right, what do you guys think of today's projects? The little sled. I've seen some really, really cute things online with this. Very cute. Let's look at them. All right, here are our three projects. Remember, if you want these as a kit, I will send it to you for free with a $35 or more order placed at stampinup.com using my host code, which is right there, by Monday at midnight. Okay, um, let me show you, I have bonus projects and I was gonna post one yesterday and I just didn't do it, I'm sorry. I, I don't know, I just, I don't know. I'm having a hard time finding the motivation. My kids are sleeping in, my husband was sleeping in last week, this week, and I'm like having a hard time getting out of bed and getting things that I need to get done. Anyways, that's why I didn't post it, I was being lazy basically, but I'll post them next week. This one I used the Rustic Crate, you know that bundle that carried over, it's online. Um, and I put the little Christmas trees, the wreath, and the skates there in the box. I thought that was fun. Um, what did I do on the inside? Anything? Nope. And then here, this is uh, pretty standard. I've seen a lot of cards using the plaid paper with the skates in the middle. I mean, it just makes it so easy. Again, the little red laces. And then on the inside, I did the stamp skates. So I'll share both of those, one on Monday and one on Tuesday. So then you'll have five ideas total. All right, you guys, thanks for joining me today. Next week, we are gonna use the Musical Jamboree set. That is from the annual catalog. It's the one with the coyote and the little tambourine playing otter or whatever. It's really cute. And we're gonna make some s'more related projects, okay? Um, I looked for inspiration online and this set has hardly been used. I could not find hardly anything using that stamp set. So if you've been curious about that stamp set, if you love little critters like me, make sure you join me next Friday at two o'clock, okay? I know, Trisha, it is. You know, I usually don't have a hard time, um, you know, sticking to my self-employed schedule. I come in the studio from eight to five every day, unless there's a doctor's appointment or whatever. But in the summer, this summer, with my kids sleeping in and my husband now, he's working from home and he's sleeping in. It's been a struggle. <laughs> they all need to just go back to school and work. All right, you guys have a wonderful weekend. Stay cool. Is it a badger, Catherine? Isn't there like a little otter too? A weasel? Maybe it's a weasel. I don't know. We'll discuss it next week. We'll figure it out. I will see you guys next Friday at two o'clock. Have a great week, guys. Stay cool. Bye.